So for the fifth question, we will first try uh, doing this using the algebraic method and then we will try using it uh, then, then, then we will try doing it using calculus. So yeah, let's try it out. So first of all, the algebraic method. So the general term is like ncr upon um, I think r plus 1. No, wait, sorry, into r plus 1. Wait, is that so? No, r minus 1. Yeah, that should make sense. So like this thing into r minus 1. Okay, that's nice. So this thing is actually equal to r ncr minus ncr. Well, R and CR can be written as N, N minus 1, CR minus 1, um, minus N, CR. Okay. So, this is valid for R bigger than or equal to 1, I think. Wait. No, bigger than or equal to 2 for sure. Because we start at 2. So, it's going to be like 2 minus 1. That will turn out to be uh, 1 over there. Yeah. And then N, that's going to be N, obviously. So, like R minus 1 is 1 and see okay that should make sense all right so now we will just sum this up so like this sum s which is equal to c2 nc2 plus 2 nc3 plus 3 nc4 and so on well this thing uh, i mean so on till you get nc n over there because after that it's no point uh, in doing nc n plus 1 that's just going to be zero okay so now what um now we are going to use this identity which we just which we just um, did over here so it's going to be like well let's see so over here you got nc2 so it's going to be n into um n minus 1 c1 okay minus n c2 yeah that should make sense okay plus n into n minus 1 c2 minus n c3 and so on so finally you should get n over there so in that case it will be like n minus 1 over there yeah so it's going to be n um yeah n into n minus 1 c so you got n minus 1 over there so that should be yeah that, that's correct it's n minus 1 over there and then minus n c n it looks correct i guess so it should be correct okay so this series looks uh, doable and also that series looks doable so it's basically n into well there is a problem we are missing a few terms so for the first series we are missing n minus 1 c0 if n minus 1 c0 was there it it would have been 2 power n minus 1 so we can just add and subtract that thing so it's going to be 2 power n minus 1 minus of n minus 1 c0 which just turns out to be 1 thankfully so just 1 over there and then minus uh, for this series it's going to be 2 power n but we are missing two terms we are missing n c1 and n c0 so it's going to be minus n minus uh, 1 that should make sense so it's going to be like well, let's see, it's going to be 2 power n minus 1 into n minus n. Then it's going to be plus n and minus 2 power n and plus 1. So this cancels. Nice. So it's 2 power n minus 1 into n minus 2 plus 1. And that's it. That should be the answer. So, yeah, cool. Then find the sum. Uh, we did find it. Wait, actually we are given the value of n over there. Hey, that's... That's weird. Okay, so we are actually given the value of n, which is 15 in this case. So it should be like 2 power 14 into, well, 15 minus 2 is uh, 13. Yeah, plus 1. And whatever that turns out to be. I mean, you can actually calculate that thing, can't you? Okay, so that's actually doable. So now we will try doing this using integration. Right, just cancel this stuff first. Uh, so how are we going to integrate that wait no not integration I think it should be a derivative yeah that's gonna work better so because you got that thing on the front and, and not on the denominator so it should be um, a differentiation thing okay so what can we do you see that um, with c3 you would actually have x cubed but if we differentiate that thing it's going to be 3x squared but we want 2 over there so it's like we want uh, 1 power of x less than what we actually have so what we can do is that we can move the c0 and c1 thing 
uh, on the right hand side and then just divide that thing by x i mean that should actually kill away that extra power so that we will get two over there and then three over there uh, that should basically make sense okay so one plus x to the power of 15 that is equal to c0 plus c1x plus c2x squared and so on okay so now i'm going to move this c0 and c1 on the left hand side so it's going to be like 1 plus x to the power of 15 and then minus 1 c0 is 1 minus um 15 c1 is like 15 so minus 15x and this thing upon x that is going to be equal to uh c2 wait is that correct yeah, C2x plus C3x squared and so on. C15x power 14. Yeah, that should make sense. Okay, so now let's take the derivative. Nice. Is that correct? Yeah, that should be correct. So let's take the derivative. So, uh, first of all, we can write it like that, right? Yeah, sure, we can. So it's going to be like 1 plus x power 15 upon x minus 1 upon x minus 15 and that should be better uh, so we need to take the derivative of that thing okay we will have to use the chain rule no not uh, not the chain rule the product rule yeah so it's gonna be like d by dx of this thing this complete thing so these two parts are easy well negative 1 upon x is x power negative 1 so it should be i think 1 upon x squared and then negative 15 the derivative of that thing is just 0 because it's a constant uh, and over here, what can we do? Well, the derivative of 1 plus x power 15, that is going to be equal to, um, I think, 15 into 1 plus x power 14. That thing upon x. Okay, and the derivative of 1 upon x, that's going to be negative 1 upon x squared. So it's going to be negative 1 plus x to the power of 15 upon x squared. That should be nice. So this is equal to uh, the derivative of this thing. The derivative of this thing that's going to be c2 uh c2 plus 2 c3 plus 3 c4 and so on till you eventually get 14 c15 right so that's basically the sum which we uh, are required to find okay so that's nice wait am i missing something yeah i am missing something it's supposed to be x um over there and it's supposed to be x squared and so on till you eventually get x power 13. so now what well we'll just put the value of x as 1 and that will basically give us the sum which we want so if you put x equals to 1 that's gonna give me 1 upon 1 plus 15 into 2 power 14 upon 1 minus 2 power 15 upon 1 squared which is 1 that should be equal to c2 plus 2c3 plus 3c4 plus uh, 4c5 and so on till eventually we get 14c15 which is our sum uh, so this thing can be written as 2 power well, first of all you write that one thing uh, 1 plus 2 power 14 into well, we got 15 over there minus 2 that should be like 1 plus um, 13 into 2 power 14 yeah that should be the value of our sum if i'm not making any kind of silly mistakes that is so yeah that should be it is that the same answer which we got previously i mean it should be i don't know but whatever that question is done at least we know the method so i will see you in the next one